My name's Troy Johnson. I started in aviation in about 1998. Uh, my name is Pep Sabar and I've been an avionics engineer for the last 12 years. AW139 is a newer generation aircraft and it's uh, quickly becoming one of the most popular aircraft in the industry uh, in EMS and in offshore. So it's quickly overtaking the old machines. As contracts are getting renewed, uh, they're replacing the aircraft like the Bell 412 and the S76 with the AW139. We saw a hole in the market in this region. Uh, there was no one else in Australia or pretty much Asia Pacific region that is delivering a helicopter maintenance type training. So we figured we could, uh, we could fill that hole. And we've done a lot of helicopter type courses over the years and uh, we saw areas that we thought we could improve on. Troy and myself are engineers, so we've done a few courses beforehand. And while they have been great, they have been developed by people who aren't engineers. Uh, the practical training was developed in conjunction with uh, experienced engineers from LifeFlight. Uh, we approached them and said, what are the best parts that need to be incorporated into the training? The practical training we're doing here is much like the theory, it's more aimed at what the guys are going to need to know when they get out in the field. So we are trying to prepare them to be able to leave this course and be operationally ready as with the new regulations. When they leave this course, they uh, are licensed engineers. So they are expected to know what to do when they, when they get to the field. So our training sort of revolves around uh, what they can expect, how to do HUMS downloads, DCU downloads, FDR downloads. Uh, maintenance practices, when they're doing a 50 hourly inspection, what to look for, what's going to break, uh, those sorts of things. The beauty about this sim is you can induce faults in flight or on ground. It is a full cat D, so what that means is it's full operational, so one flight hour in the sim accounts for one flight hour in real life. Well, speaking to the students after coming out of the sim, they really enjoyed it. Uh, it helped them understand what we were talking about in the classroom. So instead of just looking at things in a textbook and uh, on, on a whiteboard, getting in the cockpit and uh, seeing what happens when they turn switches on and when something fails, it uh, really put things into uh, perspective for them.